Hello and welcome to episode 21 of my trophy guide for God of War Ragnarok. Follow me to reach the optional area to Alfheim for most of the remaining collectibles. Most of the larger beasts of Alfheim have long been dead. My brother would have known. When coming across the red tendrils, you will have to hit all their glowing weak spots with a single axe throw. I'm sure he blamed me for having to leave. That was not your fault. I know that. But I can't fault him for wanting to protect his family, even at the cost of plunging this realm back into war. Wait a bloody moment. Is that... Thor's hammer and his daughter. I'll make you proud, Dad. Take down Raven 42 and upgrade your drop near spear to level 9. And sled trained by the looks of it. Most unusual. I've never seen such obedience in Gulon. There is some kind of magic at work here. Regardless, it should make desert travel downright pleasant. Were it not for a brutal sandstorm. When entering the sandstorm, you want to head southeast to find a cave entrance. Follow me through this underground system. How do you hope to find anything in all this? Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? This cave extends underneath the desert. Aye. A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Perhaps we'll find Atreus's wounded animal down here. Lead the way, Plato. I trust you to not get us lost underground. Lashing out at everything and everyone for their fate. They will not listen to reason. Combat is unavoidable. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know. Still, I wish it were this creature Atreus heard. Why wait until now to free? It was not a priority. We were too busy attempting to stave off Ragnarok to indulge in any desert dalliances. Hey, I imagine Atreus would have enjoyed a quest to free an injured animal. Yes. I didn't mean to that. You did not. Atreus has chosen his path. I trust him to be safe. I wish I had your comfort. 
confidence with my own son when he was Atreus's age. Balder craved adventure, but with the words of the Norns repeating in my head... Your worry consumed you, as my rage was with me. You overcame it, eventually. Bring all three nearby bells to unlock the final Nornir chest. Opening Nornir chest 30 and getting all upgrades to your health and rage will reward you with the full belly trophy. Atreus reminds me more of Freyr in his youth than of Baldur. His sensitivity, his compulsion to help any and all in need. That is his mother's influence. Despite all attempts to train him otherwise, Atreus was eager to help lost spirits or run errands for the dwarves during our travels together. Faye's influence runs deeper than that. Why do you think you're the one assaulting a cave full of hostile dark elves to save a wounded creature? Hmm. Excursions like this won't serve as training for Atreus, or an excuse to gather resources while testing his abilities. But I made him promise his voice as my guide. And his voice told you to come out here? He would approve. Strange, that means more to me now than it did before he left. You've said it yourself. Atreus takes after his mother. His approval is her. <laughs> seen one since I was a child. Great Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on! That howling... sounds familiar. It's the Song of the Sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. That must be the cause of the storm. Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. There must be a way to cut it loose. I'd wager that there's nothing here a well-placed throw of the axe can't solve. of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. How in the realms did they capture such a large one? 
Hathgifers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. Even though it's bound by their hive? Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here. Follow me north and northwest to find the exposed weak spot and free the Hafgufa. By destroying this Hive? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Freya would have wanted us to do everything. Here! You should be able to cut this part away and free the half Goofa! Never imagined I'd see a half Goofa fly again. Can't believe the lad missed this. The storm is gone. The song of the sands has returned to Alfheim. Albeit somewhat diminished from how I remember it as a child. Atreus will be glad to hear it is no longer in pain. You look forward to telling him. One day, yes. You gave him a gift, allowing him to walk his own path. I know that wasn't easy. I know you cared for him as well. Now follow me clockwise around the Barrens to clear out this region. First, we will destroy Raven 43 on a nearby branch. Then enter the structure next to it to find the third of four lost pages, as well as artifact 32, Horn. Another one of Devalim's diagrams. You spoke of his conscience. Aye. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves, so he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. And what of him? Well, the old father found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. In the right eye socket of the giant skull you can find Raven 44. Inside of the same skeleton you will also find Artifact 33 and Book 13, Celestial Construct. Kavasia's poetry. <laughs> Something 
Something else I recall about that Greek player mentioned, if you won't take offence at the critique. As a work of performance, it consisted almost entirely of watching people give speeches and receive terrible news. Might have been nice to see more events dramatised instead of described. Here we find our next Berserker Greystone. This will pit us against Slipdagger the Cold and the Sisters of Ilska, resulting in a 3 on 1. The Sisters of Ilska share the same health bar and I recommend taking those on first. This will play out exactly as our previous Berserker fight. Target the closest sister while dodging all other attacks. The sisters will attack very rarely and their only dangerous move is their fire slash ice projectile barrage. Simply pay attention to the red circles on the ground to avoid it. When facing Slipdagger, you don't have to expect any new dangerous attacks. The timing to counter her moves will be slightly different, but that is already it. Play it patiently to clear Berserker Greystone 6 out of 10. This will also reward you with another Frozen Flame to upgrade your axe. <laughs> because he killed the previous king. Someone you knew. Aldis. A kind man. A trusting man. He trusted this usurper. This Rolf. No. He's trusted me. And, fool that I am, I trusted Rolf. So now you seek revenge. A dangerous path. You're one to talk. I am an authority on the subject. I reload the game here since the BGM would not stop playing the boss music. Follow me west to find a crevice in a wall where you can find artifact 34, Harp. So let me see if I understand. We're expected to find someone to relieve Hrasfelder and become Hell? Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Terrible weather, infinite hours, and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. No more for now. Focus. <laughs> sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. And would prefer it remain that way. Next, we will make our way to the final Draugr Hall. Defeat the Hateful as per usual and claim your final Chaos Spark. 
transforming it into an additional Chaos Flame to upgrade your blades. Oh, it'll be trouble for all of us if the position is filled by someone unfit. Enough talk for now. Enemy behind you, Kratos! There we are. No more drogged ends, no more hair. One less thing to worry about. You worry? Oh, never while you're around, oh warrior of rippling muscle. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half too far. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Haftufa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alpine. When entering the second sandstorm, you want to steer north to find yet another underground area. Follow me through it to free yet another half Kufa. I see an entrance. Freya never saw how poorly these lands fared in his absence, did he? He would appreciate our efforts out here. Aye. Hearing the song of the sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hafgufa is free. This architecture, it is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track then. <laughs> When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by a light. Aye, and as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped Haskifer for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, travel from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. underneath the barrens, do they? Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim. This appears. Big VR did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, 
At least they tried. Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? Goofas will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from the harsh world. I can I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of Alfheim. In order to breed, they must pass on their life to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death is children. That we can live on through our children. After removing all the tendrils, you can drop down a nearby ledge, clear out the enemies, and find Artifact 35, Pipe. <laughs> Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. The fate of these creatures, it reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame of... Is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. Way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. There. Mimir is the better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those It appears we've overstayed our welcome in our fight. <laughs> Time to end this storm. Ah! 
head south to find the second weak spot and completely free the other half Gufa to clear out the raging storm and get rewarded with the full Gufa trophy. in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. No rush to leave yet, is there? We can now finish up the Forbidden Sands. Let's start by destroying the nearby Raven 45. Now follow me south to find yet another Berserker Gravestone. So, how worried should we be, Lemir, about the Hrasfelger situation? Oh, it'll be trouble for all of us if the position is filled by some... Hold. Prepare for a fight. The Graves know. Another Berserker to fight. Here we go up against Hjalti the Stolen. The only new move she has at her disposal is one that you can easily disrupt by performing a shield strike. All other moves are either easy to dodge melee attacks or ones that you have seen before. This will be Berserker Greystone 7 out of 10. Give him more of the same. We have seen this before. Revenge will not bring you peace. Is it revenge if justice is served? That is a question you must answer for yourself. <laughs> Travel northwest and enter an enclosed section to find the Dawn Bloom flower. This will be flower 5 out of 9. Behind a close by statue, you can also find the hidden Raven 46. How worried should we be, Lemir, about the Hrasfelger situation? Oh, it'll be trouble for all of us if the position is filled by someone unfit. Another time. We must focus. A dawn bloom. <laughs> Whoa! 
Continue clockwise around the area to find a giant statue. Flying in front of it is Raven 47. After destroying it, you will want to follow my steps closely to solve the upcoming puzzle section. Wait, let us look this way. A monument to Freyr. I wonder if he ever saw this. You may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce for the diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. monuments are useless. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. <clears throat> These crystals contain their own life. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. <laughs> We can now pick up two Alfheim Baron's key halves throughout the Forbidden Sands and then make our way to the northern edge of the area where you will spot a giant door. Open it and defeat the Drake boss. <laughs> so, how worried should we be, Lemir, about the Hrasfelger situation? Oh, it'll be trouble for all of us if the position is filled by someone unfit. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement? Complete chaos, yes. Well, I'm sorry I asked. A light elf statue in the desert. Odd. On top of ancient elven ruins? I'd have to agree. <laughs>
Make sure to pick up its drops to obtain Skirner's Gambantain, which is required to craft one of the relics later. Then squeeze through the nearby gap to find Artifact 36, Token. Can't decide whether to be impressed or horrified. Either way, it is over now. A token. A badge of honor. The elves made a few of these. They'd hang them up outside their dwellings. Show their support for my brother. Freya, I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with... Break open the crawl space underneath the grappling point to open up a hidden cave where you can find the 48th and final raven in the game. Not now. Light elf graves. An entire mausoleum. But why here and not in the temple? Fair question. Next to the library entrance, you can then find Artifact 37, Bracelet. Jewelry. Oh? Put it on one of my horns. Enter the library and follow me to find the fourth and final of the lost pages as well as our final jewel of Yggdrasil. Do what you will. If Freyr didn't bother taking them when he left Alfheim, he wouldn't mind us selling them to the people. An elven library? An archive of knowledge? No sign of the Light Elves. For now. Maybe they've left for the day, and we can browse at our leisure. That's the last of the missing schematics. I suspect you've got some new sword helps in your future. These texts alone are not enough to end the elven war. But restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Take your page out of Odin's book. Aye, quite the advantage for the Light Elves. Lastly, make your way to the nearby watchtower to find our 38th and final artifact, as well as 14th and final book, Trip, rewarding you with the librarian and the curator trophy. For many years. Oh, any chance you could recall some of that magic? No, I have tried. Magic is bound to the earth. When your homeland died, your powers probably. Now travel to Sindri's house. Return all the lintworms and then speak with Reddit Hosker to obtain the trophy rightful place. My goodness, you Here's what a I busy found. god, haven't you? You found all of them! What a rambunctious bunch! Hello, Radatask. Hello? What you are Eve. Ah. Yeah. Now the the detonate this lock I my he Pick up the pouch of Yggdrasil seeds and travel to Midgard, Sanctuary Grove, where you can find the Murkweed flower, being flower six out of nine.
We're heading back to Charlie? Yes. He's not gonna be very happy with me. No. Charlie. I'm sorry, I was... I have no excuse for neglecting you. I will do my best to earn it. Freya, a flower. Next, we travel to Jotunheim Angerboda's treehouse to find the Iron Bell flower, being flower 7 out of 9. A stomach, it'd be twisting right now. Odin's gone. There's no remaining threat. No, no, it's from excitement. Hardly any non giants have gotten the great privilege of visiting the realm of the Jotnar. It's truly an honor to be among a very select few. <laughs> so, this is Jotunheim. As beautiful as the stories, and then some. Freya, look. Our next destination will be Niflheim, the Raven Tree. The flower. Incredible. Access the Dwarven Shop to upgrade your Leviathan Axe to level 9 and your Blades of Chaos to level 8. Also upgrade your Amulet of Yggdrasil to level 9 and obtain the trophy How It's Going. We can now also craft all the relics from the shop, so go ahead and forge the relics 7 to 11, Hilt of Dine's Life, Hilt of Angervadal, Hilt of Ridil, Hilt of Tirfing, and Holdra Project number 9. Not the only one with lightning in his hand. The ever thirsting blade. Now you be careful with that, Kratos. Our next destination is the Aesir Prison Wreckage. Follow me all the way to the bottom to find the Dream Shade flower, being flower 8 out of 9. Odin's little spies. Hang on a minute. Is this a prison? It would seem so. Let's continue. Might be something useful inside. If the Ain Harriar survived Ragnarok, perhaps some of the inmates did as well. Let us find out.
join them. <laughs> Afterwards, follow me all the way up to the prison's uppermost level, where we can find Relic 12, Mozogner's Call. Dreamshade is difficult to keep alive even under the best conditions, but this... Okay, strength to keep it alive. Then it is right. You should have it. Why that's the dwarven sound device. Now make your way to the Raven Tree where you can open six chests. Open them all to trigger the Raven Keeper boss fight. Can't help thinking we missed something. We should come back later. Explore the prison fully. I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. A gift of life, a gift in death, to his mother forever, the All-Father's breath. Odin must have created these creatures, but how? I haven't the foggiest. They came after my time with him. But perhaps we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens we find. In life we hanged, in death we kneeled, until you freed us with your steel. So destroying the ravens free their spirit somehow. Good to know. Free? Well, free of Odin's control anyway. We told what we saw, empowered his lies. Good little ravens, good little spies. Our lives cut short, souls sinking deeper, until gathered up. Raven Keeper. An acolyte of Odin's. Very secretive. Trusted with his dirtiest deeds. Never met her myself. We tried to escape. We clawed. We screeched. But nothing escapes. The Keeper's reach. Homir, how do we find this Raven Keeper? I'd love to, brother, but... I have no idea where we'd look. What if the Keeper's even still alive? We will find her. Get away from my tree. Enough! This boss works just like its regular versions. Shoot it with sigil arrows to be able to hit it and then just spam attacks. She will periodically spawn other enemies that you can clear out to make the fight less annoying. Oh, 
When down to roughly 25% health, another boss will appear. This dragon fights very similarly to the Crimson Dread boss. Avoid its breath and take it out of the sky with your axe to comfortably take down the Pale One. Then just finish off the Raven Keeper to obtain Relic 13, Hilda Forsbrander. Appreciated it as well. Is there nothing to be done for them? I believe we have done something. Perhaps. After this, we want to travel to the mist fields where you can find the Frostfinger flower. This will be the final flower rewarding you with the florist trophy. Out here we can find another Berserker Gravestone. 
Skirtendi the Unerring is quite a bit more difficult than the previous Berserkers due to her spreading Bifrost buildup. With a lot of buildup you can take a lot of damage from a single attack. And whenever she charges herself up you will take Bifrost buildup by just being close to her. The only actual move that is very dangerous can easily be interrupted by throwing your axe at her when she starts floating. She also has access to some of the other more dangerous moves that we have seen before like the jump attack. Taking her down will take care of Berserker Greystone 8 out of 10. I can see the similarities, aye. There is one difference. With the Valkyries, you lack spite. Brother, I appreciate the same. Travel to Vanaheim the Sinkholes to find the final Berserker that we skipped on our previous cleanup. How it feels to achieve vengeance. I would hope to spare you the disappointment. Aye. Ah. Do you hear that? Someone's crying. Sinmara. Ah, Sutter's love. Should we try to tell her what happened? She knows. Crater, then. Our intervention is required. See, their warriors still haunt the crater. We could put them to this. Later. Hucklanger the Bearded can coat himself in armor, but most importantly, his attacks simply deal a lot of damage compared to the previous Berserkers. When it comes to dealing with his attacks, you can still mostly do what you did with the previous ones. However, your positioning in the arena is also very important in this fight. That is because of his most dangerous move. He will charge up an attack that has a massive radius around him and is just barely smaller than the arena itself. Getting caught between him and the wall whenever he does that attack will not leave you with enough time to dodge out of the way. Taking down this last of the regular Berserkers will unlock the 10th and final Berserker Greystone back in Midgard where we first unlocked them. This will also reward you with the final Chaos Flame to upgrade your blades. <laughs> Oh, 
thought his berserkers were tough well i've been thinking about what you said brother for now we make our way back to muspelheim the crucible to prepare for the hardest boss in the game it is good to hear you say that but i plan to face him regardless what now let's see which armpit of muspelheim that seed leads to huh Upgrade your Blades of Chaos to level 9 and buy a superior Resurrection Stone. Then follow me to the battle arena. That concludes this episode. I will see you in the next one. Let me get my fortune hammer! Oh, heading up already? Got time to chat? Gnaw. She's fierce. Attack only if you think we are ready. <laughs> 